The first event of the 2016 IGT Tour season was held at the prestigious Wingate Park Country Club in Pretoria. Conditions were wet and cold, but the players were eager to get out and play. We asked some tour players what their expectations are for the 2016 season. Um, well, I'm new to the IGT, first tournament this year, and oh, for my life actually, and I mean, I'm just here to gain experience and see what other people are doing. And I mean, I made the first cut, so I mean, it can't be that bad of a start, so I'm just here to have fun. Hopefully we can get a maiden victory. Mm. <laughs> as low as possible for as long as possible. Now I need to improve my game, and I think this is the best way of doing it. Um, playing here, getting some game time in, and getting the stroke average down a bit. Play a bit of golf. Enjoy golf and uh, yeah, make the Lord's name big. I'm the best mid amateur. Just gonna try and enjoy my golf as much as I can, and obviously put in as much hard work as I can. Try and get all my all my facets of my game in order. Yeah. Oh, basically just try to finish top ten week in week out. Just focus on the process and um, work hard for the whole year. Let's have a look at the scores for the first two rounds. With perfect weather conditions in the first two days, the players who put themselves in good positions from the tee gave themselves great opportunity to shoot some good scores. Notably, there was four amateurs in the top 10, Tristan Shredham at minus 9 leading the pack in his first IGT Tour start. 65 players made the cut for the final round and the first groups went off at 7am. With the course wet, it was imperative to keep the ball on the short stuff. The overcast conditions were a welcome break from the heat wave Pretoria was having over the last couple of months. We asked the leaders how they intended to play the final day. Conditions are pretty good. It's nice conditions, a bit cloudy, overcast. Uh, feeling positive. Know the course very well, so uh, hopefully it will go as planned. Um, yeah, staying patient first of all. Uh, getting quality shots into the greens. The uh, course is quite wet. Um, going to be a lot of mud balls in the fairways, and if you're not hitting the fairways, it's going to be quite tough keeping the balls in the greens. Um, yeah, just staying patient and keep doing what I'm doing. Oh, well, the game plan will be just to keep it in play again, uh, like the last few few days. Um, it was nice, nice few days. Um, green regulation, very important. And yeah, obviously try and get it in hole. <laughs> the scores after the first nine. MJ Dufay with impress of 32 to take him to minus nine. Both the amateur Tristan Stratum and Estian Conradi came in with 33, and the big mover on the first nine was Peter Kruger with a bogey-free 32 to take him into the lead at minus 12. We pick up the action on the 12th hole with Estian playing his second shot blind from behind the trees. That will leave him for a 3 foot birdie putt. Tristan pulled his tee shot on the 12th, had to play out with a duck hook. Voila, but unfortunately made the bunker. Soft hands and a lot of confidence. Good shot, and he'll tap that in for par. Um, yeah, I'm feeling quite good. I haven't made a bogey today. Uh, 3 birdies playing very solid. Um, got three or five left, hopefully I can push for a few more. Tristan has this five footer for birdie to take him into a share of the lead. Good stroke, hits the cup with confidence. Well done young man, let's hear what he has to say. Uh, I'm feeling positive, made two birdies in a row now. Uh, hopefully I can keep that up, uh, make some more, just keep on rolling them in. We pick up the action on the par 5 15th with all the players going for the green in two. Tristan left himself with a very difficult third shot. He played that like the young Sebi Ballesteros would. Amazing touch from the young amateur. Peter playing his third with a very difficult stance. They just bounced on the wet rough and he did not get the roll he wanted. Estian pulled his second leaving him with a lengthy eagle chip down the hill. Unfortunately he overcooked it a little leaving himself with a 15 foot birdie putt coming back up the hill. Peter with a long range birdie putt. It's a good strike. But unfortunately he leaves it short. He would tap that in for his par. Estian coming back up for a birdie. Unfortunately he misread that one and he would settle for a par. After his great chip, Tristan makes no mistake and he takes the lead with 3 to play. Tristan got a lucky break when his ball bounced out of the water hazard on the par 3 16th. Unfortunately he gave one shot back after he could not convert his lengthy par putt. So after 53 holes it all comes down to the par 5 18th with all 3 players in with a chance to win. We spoke to the young Estian to find out how he's holding up. A little bit stressed though eh? Yes, uh, a bit nervous. Uh, well I hit a get good tee shot so uh, well, hopefully I can just eat the green. 
Tristan pulled his trusty driver and had to punch out to give himself the best possible chance for the win. Second player was Peter and he wanted to pitch this close to put some pressure on his playing partners. What a great shot to give himself an eagle opportunity. Last to play is the young IGT debutant. With pressure firmly on his shoulders, he had a great shot leaving himself a putt for the outright win. Knowing he needs to hit this close if he has any chance for a win, he does exactly that. If STM can find the back of the cup, he can take the outright win. A difficult putt, but he handles the pressure well to leave himself a good chance for a birdie. Peter needs to sink this eagle to give himself an opportunity for a possible playoff. Unfortunately, just missed it, and with that, a chance for the win. Tristan had a good look at what Peter's ball did and made the same mistake, just shaving the cup on the low side. Estienne has this buddy for the win. A solid putt, and with that, his first win on the IGT Tour. Well done, young man. Uh, yes, I feel relieved now after a long day full of nervousness and stress. Uh, glad I could get it done. Um, and uh, hello mom. MJ, Tristan and Peter all with fantastic 68s on the final round. And Estian Conroy, the young debutant with a 66. A very composed minus 14. We'll see you next week.